Hey, what's up, my fellow black people? Y'all need to get over it. You're not gonna have your own country. You're never gonna have your own black country. This whole black power movement is, and it is limiting in many ways, and it is helpful. Which is why it has never really led to anything progressive taking place or anything leading to results. See, the thing is, you're never going to have a fully black country because it's too cheap to fly around. It's too cheap to get on the train. It's too cheap to get on the boat in this present modern economy. So anyone with any skin color, with any background or cultural history, with a little bit of money in their pocket and a clean background could travel almost anywhere they want to. So why do you think that you would ever have a country or a place on this planet that is isolated unless if it is done or enforced through a military or some form of organization like that. I'm, I'm a voluntarist, so I'm completely against the use of force to, to do anything you want to do. I believe that all social change could come through voluntary cooperation if people are just smart and creative enough. You don't have to make anyone do anything if you're smarter than them. If you can outsmart them, there's no need for you to introduce the force. When you introduce the force or the, comp or the coercion in the, in the exchange, that's when you feel like you've lost and you can't win through your own merits. So you have to start cheating. Now, in the real world, now you have to differentiate. Cheating, what they teach us is cheating in schools, is that when you cheat, is when you borrow or copy with your friend from, from your friend's work. That's not the real definition of cheating. The real definition of cheating is to steal people's work. Not so much steal people's work or to make people do things they don't want to. Because what, what they call cheating in our school system is actually cooperation. See, in the public, when you work for a company, you actually benefit from exchanging ideas and sharing the process which you use to get to whatever solutions you got to. But in the school system, they tell us that we can't share the process with each other, that we all have to go through the steps and the legwork to climb to that step, to that uh, level on our own. Cheating in the real world means that instead of you going around getting people to agree with your, with your idea, to voluntarily hand in their money to participate in your idea because they feel that it's a good idea, you know that it's not a good idea. So you just force people to do it if you have the force to do so. Now that may have worked back in the feudal days, but in today's modern society where the information is traveling pretty fast and everyone pretty much has access to the same information for, for very cheap. You can't get away with that for too much longer, you know what I'm saying? Because the power structure has to flip. So now the, the whole thing is, the whole key is to get into people's minds and program their subconscious. So no matter how much information they encounter on the conscious basis, it's not going to change what they actually do, you know what I'm saying, when it's time to act. And they still fall prey to the subconscious programming that has been that they've been subject to from a very young age. But getting back to the point at hand, black power is very limiting because it's not a black species you know what I'm saying it's not like there was just a black species it's just a black breed a black race within a species and when you live on this planet earth at the level of consciousness that we are able to reach as human beings you understand that we have a planetary level of consciousness which which enables us or actually we have a astronomical or astrological sense of consciousness because we're able to put everything and fit it into our heads and we're able to think about it all and we have a planetary level consciousness because we're able to think about the planet and think about how everything fits in together and our role in it and your role on this planet is not just I'm a black guy I'm a black person your role on this planet is I'm a human being you see what I'm saying with higher level of consciousness than the, than the other beings on this planet so your role is not when you when you identify yourself with a movement that separates the majority of your of your species from you, then you're kind of putting yourself in a box in the corner, and that's why you're limiting the, the, the sources of funding you're gonna receive and the types of uh, and the types of help you're gonna get along the way. So you're gonna find it much harder and much more difficult to get people to go along with your idea because the majority of them are excluded. It's a black power movement. It's not a human power movement. It's not a planet Earth let's go movement. It's just a you and your people movement. So everybody can sense the inherent selfishness. See, the problem is that's kind of like when people tell you if you're not a parent, you can't speak on having children on what it is like to raise children because you're not a parent yourself. This is a logical fallacy. And if people live by that principle, then you have to think about it and go back in time a bit. 
if white people didn't think about the issues that black people or other races face, then how would slaves have ever gotten free? If, 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 if people don't think about the situations that other people except for themselves are in, then they, they just gonna worry about themselves. And if everybody was like that, this world would have been a, a much more fucked up place than what it is now. The reason it's constantly getting better is because people are realizing and learning to put themselves in the position and in the shoes of other people who may not be where they're at. We live in the United States. If you're watching this video, you probably live in a country in the modern world where you're pretty wealthy. You're living better than kings and queens used to live back in the day, hundreds of years, not even 100, 200 years ago. You're living better than the, than the best, than the richest person on the planet is. With that understanding in mind, that the reason human society is able to progress as far as it is is through the expansion and the, uh, the spreading application of empathy to other people. How can you then turn around and sit there and have a movement that's just centered on yourself and your own people? Because you feel like your people have been done wrong in the past, your people have been abused, but you have to think about it. Almost every race, every culture in humanity has had troubled past, has had issues. I mean, I wasn't born in the United States, so my family did not come from so-called slaves over here. But even my family back over there, we had a kingdom, whatever, and they wiped out a big portion of my family and caused them to leave and run somewhere else. So everybody around the world has had things happen to them. You can't use that as an excuse or a pretense to just go around acting like you don't see everyone else and to go around pretending like you're better than everyone else. I mean, I'm sorry, but in my personal experience, I see a lot more racism Maybe not economically or financially, but as far as what people say and how people treat each other, I see more black people treat being racist to white people than the race than the white friends I have being racist towards us. And that's something that I don't like to see. It's like, yo, these dude this dude wasn't here back when they had slaves. He wasn't the one that owned slaves and he's actually treating you much better than a lot of your black friends are treating you now. But you're gonna turn around and make little racist comments and talk about white people this, white people that. And it's a lot more black people that say white people this, white people that, even in their comedy acts. It's regular comedy for black people to be racist. But then we talk about how everybody else is racist. That doesn't make any sense. See what I'm saying? So the thing is, the first thing about the black power movement that is wrong is how it's isolated and it's, it's a separatist movement that's there to cause more division on this planet. It's not there to actually help everyone live better and achieve the highest standard possible with this technologically advanced society. All it's doing is just holding us back to old primitive ideals. And thanks for watching. This is your host Prince Avery. I hope you join me on one of my daily uh, on one of my daily broadcasts on blogtalkradio.com, Self Education Radio. Click the links below. Follow me on Twitter, Selfie Radio. Thanks for watching. I'm out.